I'm sorry. Excuse me? I'm sorry for fighting like this. If I hadn't made it so hard on you guys, this wouldn't have happened. How much will it take you to disappear? Oh, Max. It's going to take a lot more than money. When Andrew wakes up, I'm gonna sign the company over to him. I can't move on with them always in my life. If, if Brenda sees the video or, God forbid, the police do... Mind if I join you for a drink? Thanks for the coffee, Brenda. Of course. Is that your sister? Yes. She's pretty, isn't she? She really is. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Well, I should get back to work. All right. You really think being here is such a good idea? I just came to pay my respects. I'm not talking about him. Max. Last time I checked, I told you to leave. Permanently. Yes, you did. And yet here you are again. Not by choice. Whose life did you destroy this time? I am not going to talk about this with you. Sorry, I don't have time for breakfast. I need to get to work. You want me to lock up when you leave? That'd be great. You know, if we'd both live at the same place, things would be a lot easier. What? You heard me, dear. Susan, are you asking me to move in together? Do you want to? I'd like nothing more. Connor, what are you doing here? Well, I have the divorce papers done. Oh, right. Did Andrew sign them before the... No, he didn't. Okay. Do you want to come down to the office later? Just mail them over. Okay. How is he? Nothing has changed. I'm sorry. Thanks. I should go. Did you figure out a way to get rid of Rhonda? She's befriending my wife. We don't have that much time. I know. Don't you think you should tell Brenda the truth? I, I can't. She'll never forgive me. You don't know that. You don't know what it was like back then. Today's a weird day. Why? Well, this morning Pete and I decided to move in together. Susan, that's great! Congratulations! Thanks. But I noticed something weird. What? Well, it was at the park. I... I need a drink. Please, come in. My divorce papers are ready for me to sign. Go get us some wine. The expensive one. What do you want? I want to know why you're here. Max, please. Jane, I could have told Susan what you did. That you were the one who killed her husband. You really want to know? Yes. Sit down. Has Andrew signed the papers? From his coma. Right. 
How are you feeling about this, Val? I get that it was going to happen eventually. But... But I'm still scared of being single again. Alone in this big house. It's going to get better, dear. For you it is. Brenda... What is she talking about? Pete and Susan are moving in together. We are. Congratulations. That's great. I didn't want to rub it in your face. Honey, your happiness is something you should never hide. Especially from your friends. I hope you guys are having a housewarming party. We haven't even decided where we're going to move in. Well, there's no rush. Just make sure to pick the bigger apartment. Right. So, the divorce papers are ready. Andrew, how did this all happen? I wish we ended this on a friendlier note. I swear if you wake up, I'm going to be a better person about this. And just so you know, you gave me some of the happiest years of my life. And for that I want to thank you. I wish you could answer or hear me. Okay. I'm going to let you sleep. Bye, Andrew. Uh, Valerie? So, how was your night with the girls? It was good. Is everything okay? I'm not sure. Talk to me, Susan. I heard you and Max talking at the park today. What? What did you hear? Well, why do you guys have to get rid of Rhonda? Look, it's complicated. Pete, we decided to move in together, and you want to keep secrets from me? It's not my place to tell, Susan. Really? I wish I could. I see. I'm going to sleep at my place tonight. Susan, wait. Susan! Wait, I, I don't understand. Someone was robbing these rich houses in Strangerville, and after the police started investigating, suddenly there was this huge amount of money planted in my home in the back. So, someone framed you? Yes. And given your past... I couldn't risk staying here. So, who did this to you? I don't know, but I am once again running away. And I cannot do this anymore. It's too much, huh? Yes, I can't take it anymore. You should go to bed. Remember, we're having people over tomorrow. Your election night, right? Yes. I'm sure you're going to win again. Thanks. And for what it's worth, I am sorry. Me too. To what do I owe this pleasure? I know. What? I remember why you know Jane. What? She told me someone tried to frame her for a crime she didn't do. I don't know what you are saying. It all makes sense. She came to Strangerville, a town where you and Pete used to rob rich people. And once the police started to investigate and you were just about to get caught, you got rid of the evidence and left it at Jane's house. And? And she found it before you could have tipped off the police. So she came back and all this trouble with her past was so much for her to deal with that she ultimately killed herself. Not everyone can handle the truth, right? You drove her to suicide with this. It's not me who put the gun to her head. Leave Davenport and never 
come back. And if I see your face again, and if you say one thing to anyone, I will make sure you will regret it. And I would have never met her if you didn't send her away in the first place. Who's the bad guy here, Max? We both are. I was protecting my family. You were protecting your reputation. That's what you did. You're the monster, and I can't wait to tell your wife and take you down. 